are you doing? Oh, hello there, buddy. <gasps> you got a whole crew there today. Yep. And my whole entire crew is down at the river. So, um, I have four dogs with me right now, and I have three boarders at home, and Jasper, so I have four dogs at home. Um, I have two challenging dogs <laughs> that I sort of have to keep an eye on, so that's why I'm splitting them up, and one of them is a, is a big, big dog, and it takes my entire weight, physical weight and attention. Um, yeah, so, so there's just uh, no way I can handle sort of two challenging dogs. So um, I decided to split them into two groups. And uh, that way it'll be easier on me and most likely easier on them too. So this is my first group and it has uh, Pebbles, Miles, Max, and Luna. Um, and my at-home group right now is uh, Kenzie, Shelby, Goldie and Jasper. So um, I will be taking them out in the evening once uh, I think it's Max and Luna leave. Because um, Luna's, oh, and I guess Miles. Because uh, Luna is my daycare, Miles is my daycare, and then Max is ending. So yeah, and then we'll just uh, head out here again with the second crew. Yeah, so it's been a while since I've had Kenzie, and um, I think it's just, it's, it takes her a little while to get used to kind of my ways again. Um, she seems to know how to use her physical strength to get her way, and um, of course then that almost kind of makes her leader of the pack, um, and, and just the fact that like, then she doesn't work within my boundaries she works within her own boundaries which a dog's boundaries are basically whatever they want to do <laughs> so yeah and and because she's such a large dog i i i really need her to work within my boundaries um which kind of includes basic things like she can't just um if i have her on leash she can't just be taking off and using her weight to um <laughs> get the leash out of my hand so that she can go where she wants, things like that. Um, and then not being either reactive, um, like she kind of was to my dog Jasper at home, um, when he was being food protective, uh, or food aggression, not food, is it food aggression? I don't know. But he was protecting, he was trying to protect the bones. It's, it's, uh, a bit of a weird incident. So, um, yeah, so that's why. And then, and then Miles um, can sometimes be challenging if he, um, if he kind of want like does whatever he wants and does and doesn't take communicative uh, skills from other dogs. If other dogs are saying lay off, um, sometimes he doesn't, and he just. Uh, keeps pestering them to play and then they kind of get mad and then it kind of gets to be a bit of a an ordeal so yeah so between those two dogs I do I do need to um, separate the pack so that all my attention um, can be used wisely Yep, Pebbles, if you want the ball, you gotta hustle, bud. Ready? Ready? Go get it! <sighs> yeah, Max is really good at hustling. Um, Pebbles is, I think, used to the ball being thrown to her. <laughs> and then she's very vocal about it. Come here, Max! Good boy. Yeah, so I am hoping to tire these guys out. Um... So that they're good and then yeah and then second taking my second group out so um super nice and cool down here once again it's it's really a hot day actually i was struggling to get here <laughs> um yeah just just the walk across the field was uh was pretty warm